headshots all the time. Like yeah. if you're commentating, if you're hanging out at the venue, supporting the scene, he's gonna reach out to you, give you that beautiful, yeah. like artful photo that you're you're gonna appreciate for like a good year or so, good like forever. Honestly, they last quite a while. Yeah, absolutely. Like. I use his headshots for all sorts of stuff. I just like, like simple stuff like the Star GG profile, you know what's on there. The commentator reel, you know what's on there. But every time I need a good like production type headshot for some sort of commentary gig, always without a question, right to right to his headshots. Oh, no yeah. one does it like him. Yeah, the man does it all too easy. I've seen him do weddings, I've seen him do like couples photo shoots, yeah. buddy pics, like reach out to him for like pretty yeah. much any weird concern. I mean with, within reason, but yeah, hit up the homie Trident, S-K-R-T. Yeah, Twitter. we weren't even supposed to plug Trident. <laughs> I just feel like this man deserves it. He yeah, worked you know, so hard. We got time. I feel like that's a much needed thing. He's such a nice guy, too. Dude, yeah. And the coolest thing, too, he's like, he's from PNW. You see him all over the place, though. He's got friends and, and places all around the world. Such a seasoned veteran of the Smash scene. And so many great people here tonight. I feel like I can just look in the background of every shot and right. find people to talk about. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, oh is this so? The counter pick? The oh, plus two matchup against up. Steve? I think she's trying it, right? It's it's game one, might as well. We didn't see any of it, maybe much of it at all today throughout bracket. Um, I saw she picked it out versus Terra in some friendlies, but here we go. PT coming back on the roster for Moxie. Yo, Leffen, you seeing this? <laughs> you said this character wasn't the future. Moxie disagrees. We got the most oppressive character in the game being outdone by the one and only Literally. Pokemon trainer. And I'll tell you right now, Ivysaur going to be the name of the game versus Steve, right? Uh, maybe going to be proved wrong in just a second here if, if Samuel gets a conversion. But, yep, there we go. Oh, the oh. grab with the uh, yeah, big combo there from Samuel. Good stuff on the up smash charge. Uh, but Ivysaur's fair, just really good at breaking blocks. We're going to see a lot of mix-ups there when she is falling with aerials. Yeah, I expect we'll see a lot of Ivysaur in this matchup. Yeah. Certainly a matchup that Steve players are not a huge fan of. That is one thing that Pokemon Trainer gets in as far as matchups. They get to kind of pick the one Ooh. that works the best in the matchup. Exactly. There, is, right. yeah, yeah. there is that set play of low percent Squirtle, mid percent Ivysaur, right. high percent Charizard, of course. Exactly. And you're always going to have a little bit of that. But in situations like this, it's nice to just always have that option of like, solo Ivy might be the play. Right, yeah. And if it behooves you, especially like with tools like Ivy's, not this late in the, in the stock, but you're going to get so much off of just Razor Leafing in neutral. I believe it just breaks through a lot of blocks, too, just by itself. Here we see the Squirtle, though. Let's see if you can do anything with it. No. Not too Wait much. it out, yeah. though. Good stuff from Samuel. Yeah, and we'll see kind of this metagame develop, too, without maybe throughout the set, but maybe throughout this game, too, where Samuel's going to be looking for that Squirtle and punishing hard on it. Also looking for that Diamond, which he's got. Mining diamonds, shout out to the YouTube classic oh, yeah. right there. Shout out Galaxy Goats, <laughs> Minecraft, Sparkles himself, Captain Sparkles. All the goats of the past age of the internet. <laughs> you ever go back and like look up those old Minecraft YouTubers you watched 10 years ago when you were a kid? <laughs> a little too often, actually, yeah. And they're like, oh, these guys are still playing Lucky Blocks. Dude, yeah, they're still like profiting off YouTube. Like, good for them, you know? I could not believe that. I remember Lucky Blocks videos being a thing when I was like... 12. Oh my god, right? All the <laughs> Minecraft Let's Plays, all the like the mods. Ooh, and that down there gonna prove that Minecraft, you know, a thing of the past. Pokemon is the future. Yes, he is. The future and the past. But the important thing right now is Pokemon Trainer the present. True. Let's see, and it's kind of crazy to me, like, despite as much as we've been talking up about Ivy in this matchup, like she doesn't even want to switch to Charizard. It's just not worth it against Steve. I guess just too big of a body. Make kind of makes sense. Man, Samuel's minecart usage has been so good. Obviously, an admittedly yep. strong move, but Samuel's using it so well. I like also one thing with Squirtle, you only need to break that bottom block and you can squeeze your way through. Oh, yeah. yeah, and that's where Squirtle gets a lot of his mileage, trying to be that annoying, pesky little guy poking around your <laughs> <Yeah>. shield. <laughs> annoying and pesky indeed. Moxie putting on so much pressure, trying to keep Samuel from getting those resources Ooh. back, because you'll notice he's starting to get kind of low. Right, yeah, looking like not too much iron now. Plenty of stone Ooh, to that fair. Whip. And, oh my god, all of these grass tools just going to knock all those boxes out of the way. Ooh. Okay, up air doing lots for Moxie right here. Ooh, unfortunate time to go for that projectile for Moxie, and now you're, you're so boxed out. It doesn't matter if you're playing Ivysaur. 
free resources for Samuel. Right. However, <gasps> last stock she situation. That's going to be it. Really good stuff on the punish of the air dodge. I was about to say, it's your last stock. You only have so long to get those resources, and Moxie found the kill before it was too late. So smart, too, because you see so many people, like, kind of reacting to the hit of the Razor Leaf, but she knew, like, all the time in the world, just got to reposition, hit that up there. So Brilliant stuff. If Steve is the best character in the game, and Solo Ivysaur beats Steve, is Solo Ivysaur the best character in the game? Yo, I think so. I mean, according to your math and logic, yeah, that pretty much checks out. 100%, yes. What's the office quote? Would you rather hold the attention of a thousand men or the attention of the man who holds the attention of a thousand men? <laughs> That's so good. That Shout out my man, more. Michael Scott. Let's go. That's the US one, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Classic. Wait, classic. what do you mean? Did you think it wasn't? No, I don't no, know. My man, I, Michael I've Scott. Heard good oh. Things. oh, no, here oh. it is. I've oh. seen that, man. He got away with that earlier without the commentary or mention anything about it. But, you know, we're not going to let that slide. Can we get a, can we get a big uh, black block? box just kind of like uh, canceling censoring. him immediately cancel yeah. samuel we're gonna have to censor the vod chat i am so sorry for samuel's behavior i will be writing a twit longer about this later well hey at least it wasn't wooden all right we're chilling we're all good got rid of it moments passed here we go <laughs> smash is a wonderful game but razor leaf can it come out from moxie i will side? say there is still a little bit of wood on stream right now however samuel continuing to mine away and trying to get this oh, corner geez. pressure oh so unfortunate tnt kind of knocking moxie's landing option taking away her ability to land on the stage there Ooh. Ooh, scary there. <gasps> what can this Charizard do? We have not seen a lot of oh it. Okay, God. it can get fair trained. That's right. what it can do. <laughs> and one missed tech chase, one miss Q on your punish, and that might be your life right now. Yeah, Samuel. you remember when fair trains were discovered and people were like, that's not practical in tournament. Right, like, oh, just SDI. It's just like Smash 4 all over again. We, we can get out of this. <laughs> Which we're I better feel than like this. Is a bad argument because it <laughs> didn't work in Smash 4 either. Yeah, exactly. Like, if anything, like, it just made the Bayo players adapt. Like, oh, you're SDIing? I, I will read into that. Perfect. Oh, oh, it, oh, oh. was that the Despa? Yes, it was. Good stuff. I mean, originally that was probably the Moxie. I Maybe mean, the Despa, but no desperation to be <laughs> had there as Moxie is now up both a game and a stock. Wow. And I didn't think it would look this nice when Moxie picked out PT. Like, as much as I've been talking up Ivy in the matchup, honestly, I thought most of it's been a meme. But uh, Ivy might just be the key that she needs here. See, we were talking about this earlier. Moxie, such a great fundies player, has that ability. Like what we've seen with, say, Spargo or MK Leo, these right. players who they are so fundamentally solid that they can play several characters at that peak level. Right. And after, like, maybe, a, I don't know, they picked them up probably in their, their adventures in the East Coast. But uh, it feels like since it's been a, quite a while since we've seen PT come oh, out. Oh, my diamond. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. Ooh, another Vine Whip that's cancel. Be that was such clean movement from Moxie. Looking like Quid with those. Yeah, selecting the option. Ooh. And that's going to be another conversion off the corner there. Dude, that platform is not cool. safe against Ivysaur. Two games in a row, Moxie finding those out of the corner on the last stock. The up air's closing it out. Looking so clean, and it's not out of the hand here for Samuel. You know, he's on his last legs in, turn of, in terms of eligibility here for Cascadia yep. Clash and for the rest of the tournament. We are on the precipice. Forget Grand Finals. Losers Finals right here is where it's at. Oh, yeah. The Cascadia Clash qualifier, only two slots left. There's this one, there's the last chance qualifier. Which one's it going to be? Samuel or Moxie in this game number three? Right. Wiwa or another BC rep. Could be anyone right now. But we'll see. Looking like Moxie, honestly, though. Going to be real honest with you, Lentini. Let's see, though. Really nice landing there with the Squirtle. Really ambiguous and gets a combo of her own to start off. Really good stuff evening it up. And immediately we see, yeah, going back to Ivysaur land. So clean with the pivot, too. It's fun to see a matchup like this where Ivysaur is so favored because a lot of PTs have over time gone away from the Ivysaur. I remember right. when the game first came out, people thought Ivysaur was the best one. Yeah. And over time, that meta has so heavily shifted. It's a lot of Squirtle right to Charizard. Exactly. And you've talked about that or like brought up earlier how like they play their role throughout different matchups. Certain PT players, I've noticed too, they tend to have their best among the three. 
Moxie's, I've never really been sure because her Charizard used to be number one, but not really asking to pull him out here today. I've always been a big fan of like the Charizard specialist. Something oh about God. it. You pick such a strong character just so that you can overplay the worst part of him. <laughs> he's my favorite character in Ultimate, right? Like just pure cheese. Not to the point where he's overtuned like some of our DLC friends. Yeah. But, but he's kind of silly, right? He's got that back air. He's got that up tilt. He's yeah. got that up throw. Oh, God, to boot, right? Looking good there. Moxie even in it up. And Samuel looking like his first lead of the set. However, those low percent combos from Moxie, we've seen what they can do. But can you get there before Samuel starts to run away with these diamond tools? Wow. Great reaction. And look at that really good setup there. Did that first back air to kind of inch him coming on towards that platform. Didn't get too much off of it, though. Samuel riding high. Ooh. Ooh. Really good setup. Ooh. Ooh. He had all that redstone. He was looking at those YouTube tutorials, yeah. right? He must have been looking for years, labbing. <laughs> Reading up on it. Is that how Steve players lab? They look up <laughs> creative mode redstone builds. Oh yeah, they've never once touched Smash Ultimate outside of tournament, but they're they're really. No, that's raw players. <laughs> oh, you're right. You're right. Yeah, exactly. Got to give them some credit, right? They're definitely putting in time in the lab. Different kind of lab, though. Completely. Did you see that Zomba tweet the other day? Like, <laughs> man, I gotta buy Smash Ultimate to start grinding. Yeah. <laughs> like, like how how many years has it been, dude? Oh. Zomba and Wadi, the two raw extraordinaires. Oh yeah. Neither of them owning the game yeah and for good reason probably on half of that account but uh going into this next game we, did you see that connection on that I anvil did. dude yeah. right as she swung the ledge just a moment of vulnerability no you get nothing there yeah we glossed over that a minute a little bit at the time but samuel proving his medal proving he wants that cascadia clash spot oh, but definitely. he's got an uphill battle now because now we have two count them two <laughs> counter picks exactly We'll see if it's going to begin any other sort of setting. Yep, just going right on to small, small battlefield here for game four. Yo, shout out my man FTP and half of FTP <laughs> in the player camps. Hey, <laughs> almost a complete human if you put them all together. Nice, okay, looking good with the down tilt. Setting up the ledge. Water gun just negating minecart? I didn't know that was an interaction that happened. Good to know. Ooh. What the? Wow, and again with the Vine Whip counterplay from Samuel. He must know something we don't know. That was a wild setup. Damn, I wonder if it's some of the, maybe just like matchup knowledge against Lemon too. Like noticing like, oh, Jokers, you know, they need to snap a ledge there. Maybe I can just snap them out of their recovery. Yeah, now that gold on deck. I'm always so scared of gold from from Steve. That's the frame data. Jeez. Look how fast that F smash is. You're not kidding And now man. the setup. Oh God. <laughs> up air is just Jeez, what is just gold up tilt on shield like plus three or something real dumb i can't even keep up just like so many hits of the up tilt maybe not as much knockback right but don't think they need it when they're throwing out moves that fast okay, but now you're in the corner but the side b again so good from samuel he just finds ways to mix up that timing. So even though you expect the move, you don't expect it right then. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those, like, my minute timing mix-ups. Very smart stuff. Let's see here, though. Very close game. Samuel trying to keep this That lead. was great coverage. Yeah, Moxie yeah. loves to jump there. But then the instant adaptation, waiting and jumping afterwards, and now jumping before. Right. It's just this rock, paper, scissors back and forth all over the place. Yeah, and you see Samuel adjusting layers to this gameplay right now, too. Moxie kind of trying to adapt around it, but oh. getting hit by so much damage right now. Looking you just really need rough. one hit, though. How many times have we seen this before from Moxie? Today alone, even, the comebacks. We know it's possible, but on the other side of the Samuel has figured out so much so quickly and does not look like he wants to stop setting up all these corner pressure options. Somehow, Moxie makes it back and gets the kill. There you go. Yeah, mounting a comeback, but it look, looking like a rough one. A lot of grunt work for Ivy to make. Ooh, and that's going to be it, though, with the bear. Really good stuff for Samuel. Looking like a game five, Lentini. Indeed, and what better way for this to end? Game number five of Losers Finals. Who will it be? Who is getting the Cascadia Clash qualifier? It could be anyone right now. Honestly, I don't know. 
don't really have a good guess. Like Samuel, Samuel definitely has the momentum, right? And the wolf! But that's what I was expecting, too. I was waiting at some point in the set. I expected to see the wolf come back. We see Samuel nodding his head. Not surprised to see that. I even saw Twitch chat talking about that a moment ago. <laughs> wondering, is the wolf going to come out? Yes, indeed. We've oh, seen yeah. this wolf put in work time and time again. Right. Truly a, a strong tool for Moxie. Right. But will it be enough? Okay, that's the Samuel Stalin. Nice, nice, okay. Can we get a grab that ledge? I'm stalling. <laughs> Shout out to H-Box. Let's go, let's In all go. the good sets, I find myself. Oh, yeah. Hit those notes. Beautiful. Not as beautiful as this combo right now. Okay. Getting some materials. And I'm excited to see the wolf again, but I don't know if Moxie has the the urgency with it. She was so calculated with her Ivy punishes. Ooh, that be a was a whole different game. That was a lot of damage. And look at those block setups. So methodical and so quick with them. Right. And that's what I noticed last game, right? Samuel was putting up such a literal wall, right? Like I putting love up those. L's. The Tetris's. double walls. Exactly. Not much to be done unless you got a double hit hitbox. The wolf doesn't have too many of. Though. Hey, nice. Okay, Ooh, I like cancels it. Cancels the diamond. That's huge. No pickaxe. Oh, and there we go. We almost saw our first F Smash connection. My of man the night. cannot, in fact, mine diamonds. Ooh, one thing great idea. Do. Win set. Another side oh. beat from Moxie. And Samuel offering her the ledge, the, the iron block, hoisting her up. But here we go, evening it out himself. That's not a lot of materials. You got a lot of iron, but not a whole lot of anything else. Ooh. Can Moxie keep the pressure oh up? Oh my god. The, the train. Back. Really good STI, though. Staying alive here. Okay, honestly, I'm fine with that minecart if I'm Moxie. Take the side B. The jumping nair. We've nice. seen the weight, the tech. And she's been prepared. She's been kind of going in with those nairs against Samuel's double block setups a lot throughout their double sets all night. Again, the stall. I feel like Moxie just doesn't have any answers for that, and Samuel knows it. Yeah. Just as soon as this game started, the complete change from Samuel, recognizing that option being on the table and not afraid to use it. This right. is PNW. We will camp if it's optimal. <laughs> we take those. Straight to the bank, baby. Let's go. And straight to Cascadia Clash qualifying, if your name is Samuel right now, potentially. Ooh, big hit, but still alive. Oh. Great timing. Oh, and but there nice. it is. Great punish there on the Wolf Blaster. Oh, another side B. A lot of damage, but you're going to need more than that. You're out of range for that back air. Goes oh. for round three, but the spacing is slightly off. Samuel oh. on the precipice right now oh. of the reverse 3-0 oh, to dear. close this out. There's the train. It's starting. Oh, and good DI barely surviving. Not getting connected by that, that horrible diamond. Terrifying. Misses the back air, but Moxie Ooh. has a little bit of control Ooh. right now. Is it enough? Such a scary situation. Up throw. Samuel Jeez. visibly <gasps> moving in the and player cam. F-Tilt F -til gonna take it. It's last stock right now. Can Moxie make this crazy, crazy comeback? It is indeed. Last stock, oh, last shine game. Combo. We got shine resets. Up airs Dude. for days and another one. Lentini, she was ready. She knew the Tekken place was coming. What the is custom next here? Combos, the second oh, coming no, of Charlie the King in the house right now. Moxie the queen right now. This is, what can you do? Oh, age old ultimate versus the, the new age. Do it. it does. The future is now. Young woman, Samuel, after, gonna take it. After Ooh. all that, the shock of the single down air. The awareness to throw that anvil out at that moment. Wow. And that was all it <laughs> took. Dude. Moxie what was coming that? alive. Literally, like, we saw it right throughout that whole set, just fighting, putting up such a great fight. Let's, yeah, let's give some applause. Yeah. And with Much that, needed. welcome Samuel to oh, yeah. Cascadia Clash. I mean, his ass is going to be there anyway. <laughs> oh, yeah, he's, he's helping T.O. and he's running stuff, but he's entering, too. He's That's got a crazy. lot on his plate. That's crazy. Man, My man's going to be long busy. <laughs> Yeah, come fall. I hope you don't have any other prior commitments, Samuel. Putting that whole grind into Smash. You'll love to see it. Um, I'd love to see more of your, your Steve, too. Really good, really good play. Look at that. Those punishes, the adaptations, and really the layers of gameplay I want to highlight. Because like you were bringing up throughout that last game, uh, just the, the way he was in control of the, the match, just setting up walls where Moxie really had no, no option. Maybe she had counterplay in mind, but we didn't see it in the moment. Yeah, absolutely. So many of those side Bs in that last game. However, Oof. like you said, when it came down to it, 
We saw so much aggression, so many custom combos from Moxie on that last stock. So I thought smart, she had right? it, but For that sure. one misspaced back air. Look at just the shock of the that situation. Lead. Yeah, and no Matt sitting on Samuel. That was like one. Of, must have been one of his last yeah. irons he used to get. I think. That kill. I think it might have been. Oh, down to the wire. Such an invigorating set right there. Oh my god, I'm running out of words, bro. Insane. And now, oh, now the real test. Oh yeah, we still got one more set. To BC chill made launch. a beat in Georgia, but can BC beat Wewa? I don't know. It could be. I mean, it's JDB though. Could it is JDB? JDB? 